Welcome to C49 Hockey Breaks, box break number 372. And today we've got a box of yesterday's brand new release 21 22 Upper Deck Extended Series. This is the second year that they've made Extended Series. I think, in my opinion, if they continue to release Extended Series, they should just call it Series 3. However, uh, for now, it is called Extended Series. 21-22 Hobby. We've got box number 717. Let's get into it. Eight cards per pack, 24 packs per box. There we have it. Let's get into it. First pack. I have to say, I could be wrong, but with the uh, rivety cut on the uh, top of the packs, kind of gives it a uh, retail feel. Like, I don't know. I feel like the hobby has always had uh, smooth tops to the packs, but maybe, maybe I'm wrong. We've got a gold Hollow FX Anton Lundell. I don't know if uh, this is supposed to be some sort of parallel or not, but uh, Makar base is uh, 2021 NHL All-Star First Team. I know, I feel like that's just the uh, regular base card. It is uh, 671, but that could be uh, could just be a uh, could be a parallel, I'm not too, too sure there. And so the Matthews is uh, also a all-star second team. We've got a black diamond, single diamond of Nikita Kucherov. Inaugural game of Ryan Donato. I feel like those are really nothing special, but uh, I could be wrong. Um, for those of you who don't know, prior to 15-16, uh, 14-15 uh, and before, Black Diamond was a lower end product and uh, the diamond cards were all much like this, instead of uh, being a high-end one-pack product like we've seen last week, actually on Sunday, because Black Diamond was delayed till uh, Friday last week. Noggle game, Vince Dunn. Canvas, Joe Thornton. Inaugural game, Ale uh, Alexiak. Okay, being that there are like one or two of those in a pack, I feel like they are just regular base. 
probably ran out of players to have base cards. Uh, Young Guns, Alex Steves. Yeah, see that Kraken is uh, just a regular base. So, uh, Vasilevsky All Star. Inaugural game. A retro Nate McKinnon. And an all star of Hedman. So yeah, I'm thinking they just ran out of players to do uh, base cards, having to do uh, three series. And uh, those are just regular base. Fox. All star uh, inaugural game. Yeah, see another Kraken that is uh, just normal. Lucas Raymond SP Reflections. That is, uh, it was hard to read with the reflection of my light. Girl game of Eberly. I feel like there's a French parallel in here that I missed, maybe. So if those inaugural games are just regular base, then uh, that was an all base pack. SPX Finite, The Great Eight, Alex Ovechkin, beauty card there, number 927 of 2,999, that high of a print run, it is, uh, may as well not be numbered, but there we go. Beauty card there. Happy with that pull. And the rest are just base. Oh man. That did not want to rip. Got the top open, but the. Young Guns, Zach Sachenko, it's from Calgary. That name sounds very familiar. I'm going to, uh, going to have to look this guy up on uh, Elite Prospects. I feel like he might have played in the AJHL. Maybe he played some university. I feel like if anything, he was young playing in the AJ and that's where the name rings a bell.
beauty canvas mascots Carlton Toronto mascot that's a cool looking card there I imagine these will actually be uh, fairly collectible for uh, for a canvas card I feel like that might actually get you five bucks or so with uh, somebody trying to build all the mascot set cool card there French variant Andre Kasha. So that top left stack was loaded with the All Star and uh, inaugural game base cards and uh, there doesn't seem to be any of them and as I say that all-star Marc-Andre Fleury and we've got a Young Guns retro Dawson Mercer Dawson Mercer retro Young Guns decent pull there Oh yeah, inaugural game of Lausen and uh, all-star of Marner. So yeah, as I was just thinking that all of those uh, were in the top left. All right, final pack from the top right. Young Guns, Fabian Zetterland, Inaugural Game, into the second half, and this is going to be a long break. Hollow FX Coal Cylinder. My cousin played with uh, his father. Inaugural Game. All Star. up a little bit but uh, flipping through all the base we've got a black diamond triple diamond Artemi Panarin and I hope that ends up showing up better on video than uh, it looks through the screen as I'm recording this because You really get the glare on those black diamond cards. UD Canvas Blake Wheeler. Inaugural. Game base I'll go game base there and young guns Akara Schmid I think I'm pronouncing that correctly Kara Schmid but uh, 
Man, this has been quite the devil's box. Two devils, young guns, and a retro devil's young gun. So, two inaugural game base. Final pack from the bottom left. Retro Jacob Markstrom. And an inaugural game base. And let me know if these inaugural game and all-star base are anything or a parallel or if they're just a regular base but uh felt like if i didn't pull them out somebody would uh scream in the comment section that uh i should have been pulling those out <laughs> is this a devil's box or what young guns alexander holtz I have heard this kid is supposed to be really good. I have not seen many Devils games, which is unfortunate. I went to school with uh, a guy that's playing on the Devils, but. Uh, they're not on the TV very often. We've got some sort of clear cut here. Inaugural game base on the back. We've got a clear cut Young Guns. Hugo Alnefault. I feel like I'm pronouncing that last name incorrectly. All in the fault. Clear cut young guns. Beauty pull there. And this has been quite the box. We've got four packs to go. This has really been a great box. Young Guns, Gabriel Foyte. And one inaugural. Three packs to go. UD Canvas Martin Jones. And he looks weird in a Flyers jersey. So, one inaugural game. Second last pack. SPX. This is NHL rookie. Seth Jarvis. All-star base, inaugural game base. Man, final pack, and we have not seen a single trilogy insert. Just uh, some SPX and some black diamond. Those may have been in Trilogy if they would have actually made Trilogy, but uh, I 
I believe we are ending off here with a young gun. Nope. Retro base. William Nylander. Well, folks, lots of box of 21, 22 upper deck extended series. I feel like that was a really, really good box. Um, so here's all the all-star and inaugural game base. It's quite a few, so I feel like those are just common base. Um, having to do 200 base uh, in series one, two, and three. They probably just ran out of base, but uh, of players to do for, for the base. But uh, we'll recap uh, the good stuff here. Anton Lundell. I don't believe any of these besides the OV was numbered. Hollow gold, single diamond Kucherov, Thornton, Steves, McKinnon, Raymond, beauty pull here. SPX Finite, the Grade 8, Alex Ovechkin. Unfortunately, I did just hear that Backstrom is uh, going to be out the entire season this coming year. That's uh, definitely going to hurt, but uh, Beauty Ovi there. Actually, I'm going to toss that up on the stand as well. There we go. Sachenko. Mascot Canvas Carlton. French variant. Dawson Mercer Retro Young Guns. Zetterland Young Guns. Truly a doubles box. Cylinder. Triple Diamond of Panarin. UD Canvas Blake Wheeler. Schmid Young Guns Markstrom Retro Young Guns Alexander Holtz Fortier Jones Jarvis and Nylander. So, yeah, I feel like that was a really good box. And then, uh, can't forget the clear cut young guns Hugo Alnefelt. not heard of this guy and frankly as long as they have Vasilevsky which he's not going to go anywhere anytime soon this guy's probably going to be buried in the miners I would imagine so. So we had six regular young guns, as you're supposed to, a retro young guns, and a clear cut young guns. So you could see eight young guns, and yeah, check this out. Devil's box. I cannot say that I've ever seen uh, three, like, even ignore the retro young guns. I can't say I've ever seen three of the young guns be for the exact same team in one box. But 
but uh, yeah, I feel like that was a really good box. I've said that a few times now, but uh, yeah, this is quite the long break, over 25 minutes already, so uh, I will wrap this up by saying, folks, if you did enjoy 21-22 Upper Deck Extended Series, let me know if you want to see another box. I feel like this was really good, and uh, I may grab another box, so let me know if you want to see another box. But if you did enjoy this box, feel free to leave a like, comment below, and if you have not yet hit the subscribe button, make sure you do so. We got plenty more Mystery Pack Mondays, Six Pack Saturdays, Box Breaks, and Sunday uploads to come.